I'm doing in this video is um attaching my half inch um, hose barbs to my water block with a 5 16 wrench. I am being extra careful not to crank on it too hard. I want to make sure that I don't strip the threads because then my water block would pretty much be junk. So I would want to be very careful with that. I found it easy to, or best to leave all that plastic on too, so I don't fingerprint up or scratch it. Uh, the radiator really feels kind of light, so I'm sure with if I crank on that wrench real hard. Um, it's going to strip the threads pretty easily, so you want to be extra careful with the radiator, um, and you'll see with the pump too in a minute. But these barbs, they have an O-ring on them uh, to create the seal so you don't get any fluid leaks, which obviously would be terrible. Um, water and PC electronics don't mix, even though I'm using a non-conductive um, additive with my pure water. The acrylic pump again it is acrylic basically plastic uh, you don't want to crank because you'll not only strip the threads pretty good but you could also crack the entire reservoir um, surrounding the pump so again you want to be very careful um, I found it really um, easy to just hook all these barbs up before I started piecing things together so I had everything laid out okay after we got all the barbs attached first thing I need to do after taking out my motherboard is um, remove my Aztec liquid cooling 510 low cost liquid cooling water block off my processor and you'll see that I did a pretty horrible job on applying my thermal paste um, way too much more is better mentality is not good in this when applying a water block so that's why we're here you'll see that um, it got over it got squeezed out over the processors housing um, so now I need to clean all that up in order to um, apply my uh, Rasa water block. Not proud of it, but that's why we're here. Probably could have got better temperatures if I had applied it right with my old Aztec, but we'll see what we can do um, if we can do a little better. So I'm going to apply some Arctic MX4 thermal compound non conductive. I'm um, using the P method um, in the center of the i7 950 processor chip, and the, you'll see the water block, it can be oriented vertically or horizontal um, by which way the barbs are the inlet and outlet. Um, I chose to do a vertical mount um, just because it'll uh, accommodate running my tubings a lot better for my computer. So once placing the thermal compound um, I'm gonna try to seat the block as evenly as possible using finger pressure to squeeze and spread the thermal compound that way. I don't use the finger spreading method. I find this to be a little more effective after some research. Um, I should mention too that I also before I did this I applied my 1366 um, mounting bracket that came with the kit um, to the back of my motherboard. I didn't get to show that. but So now I'm going to take the four spring loaded screws that come attached to it, insert them through the um, mounting holes in the Rasa water block. Um, using the distal thumb screws to securely tighten them to the mounting bracket and I don't crank one down as far as it'll go and then the next I kinda put them all in place them loosely and then distribute the pressure around by like kinda like a changing a tire on a car you don't want to tighten one bolt before you do place any of the rest just to get it to seat evenly and you'll see that's what I'm doing here once I get all four uh, screws tightened onto the mounting bracket then I'll take um, the proximal thumb screws mounted on these screws um, that are spring loaded and I'll individually you know one at a time tighten those down uh, that'll put pressure on the water block keeping it flush up against the CPU uh, which will give us the best cooling and again I use kinda like a crisscross pattern I don't tighten one all the way I place them all first and slowly tighten each one 
going to just double check to make sure that they're all snug. And then I'll be looking around the water block to make sure there's no thermal compound that's visible or very obvious. Because if there is, I'll have to start over. Nope. Look good. Nothing obvious. Make sure everything's cinched. And there you have it. Installation of the Rasa black acid water block on my MSI X58 mother. Okay, so now it's time to put the motherboard back into the case. Again, this is a MSI X58 motherboard. Um, once I, I probably could have installed the water block without taking the motherboard out, um, but I wanted to do some things with the north bridge um, to try to reduce some of the tempers on that, so maybe that'll be another video. Um, but anyway, uh, the easiest way I found to do this, um, when I took the motherboard out, I left the wires um, in their orientations, so they would be easier to connect um, and hook back up once I got it back in. Um, you want to make sure you move all the wires out of the way, try not to pinch any wires because um, you obviously you lose points for that. So the easiest way I found to get the board in back in place was to line it up um, with the back panel of the motherboard um, with the slots on the back of the case and I tried to um, line up the middle mounting hole in the motherboard um, and just place that screw um, loosely and then line up the rest of the holes it just seemed to be easier that way it was a little bit tricky to line up I will say but it wasn't nothing too complicated um, so once I placed my um, middle mounting hole screw um, I was then able to line up the rest of the mounting holes and place the other screws you want to be careful not to tighten them too tightly because um, if you crack your motherboard you're out quite a bit of money so you just want to be careful and there you go. Motherboard is, uh, we'll be back into place after a few more screws.